Deep in the bowels of an old power plant, a sinister plot is hatching. Ha ha! At last the time has come to hatch my sinister plot! This lever will activate my blackout generator and the world will be thrown into eternal night! Not so fast, doctors! What? Pajama Man! That's right, Fiend! And I have some gadgets of my own! Take that! Ah! Not the Illuminator Mark V! Do you have anything to say before you're sucked into my portable bad guy containment unit? I wish you'd pick up your socks once in a while. Sure thing, Mom. You can consider that done. Okay, fam. You remember tonight's the night we go to sleep with the lights off. Don't worry about me, Mom. I'm ready. And I can put on my pajama Sam mask if I get scared. That's good, dear. Good night, Sam. Good night, Mom. There's no need to hide when it's dark outside. No need to hide when it's dark outside. I'm not scared. Darkness lives in my closet, but that's okay. I'm not scared. Okay, I'm scared. I can't sleep with darkness hanging around in my closet. I'm gonna have to capture him. This is a job for... Pajama Sam! Now where's my Pajama Sam mask? I need that and my flashlight and my lunchbox. I'm sure that my stuff's in here somewhere. There's nothing but trash in there. My signature edition all-metal Pajama Man lunchbox. I mean, my portable bad guy containment unit. I can keep darkness in this after I capture him. Now I just have to find my mask and my flashlight. Nothing under here. Oh, here's my Pajama Sam mask right where it's supposed to be. How did that happen? Now I just have to find my flashlight. Nothing but clothes in here. Here's my flashlight underneath all my socks. The Illuminator Mark V Jr. It takes 2D batteries, you know. Okay, I'm ready to go into my closet and capture darkness. All right, I'm ready for action. All right, darkness, here comes Pajama Sam. Hello? Is anybody in here? Darkness? Hello? lives all right. I better go find him before mom notices I'm gone. Well, there's no turning back now. Boy, I had no idea my closet was this big on the inside. I guess not. I, um... I think we'd better confiscate these items. They could be dangerous. Hey, I need those. And you're traveling in disguise. Let's see what you really look like. Hmm? 
My pajama Sam mask. Pajama Sam, eh? Well, all right, the pajama Sam. You can go, but I've got my eye on you. <laughs> uh oh. Now what do I do? You can borrow that if you like. Uh, thanks. I feel bad about you losing your things. Yeah, how am I supposed to capture darkness without all my stuff? Well, I'm sure your things are here in the land of darkness somewhere. If you look around, you might be able to find them again. I hope so. I'll bring you back your rope later, okay? Good luck. Uh-oh. I hope that nice tree's not too mad that I lost her rope. At least I got this great piece of wood. That scary looking place up there must be Darkness's house. I'll bet that's where I'll find him. Hi. Hello. My name's Sam. I'm going to capture Darkness and put him in a metal lunchbox. After I find my lunchbox, I mean. Oh, well, pleased to meet you, Sam. You can call me Otto. Hi again, Otto. Hello, Sam. Would you give me a ride across the river? Oh, no. I can't go in the water. I'd sink. I'm made of wood, you know. But wood floats. No, I don't think so. I had this friend and he told me this story about his dentist brother who, um, he was made of wood and he got in the water and he sank. Really? Straight to the bottom. It's so scary. I wish I'd been a car. I think your friend was wrong. Wood floats in the water. Oh, I wish that were true. Okay, check this out. It's wood, right? Yes. All right, now watch. See? It floats. Wood floats. Yeah? So you'll float too. Come on, give it a try. I guess. Well, so far, so good. Well, here goes nothing. I'm floating! Yahoo! Oh boy, this is great! Can I give you a ride somewhere? Come on, hop in! Hey, one of my socks! Mom said I should pick these up. This is where I'll keep all the socks I find in the land of darkness. Let's go sailing. Well, technically we can't do that since I'm not a sailboat because I don't have a sail. I know what you mean, but technically you should say, let's go floating or something like that. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Let's go sailing. Okay. Thanks for the lift, Otto. No problem. I can float now, you know. Just where do you think you're going? Um, nowhere really. I just wanted to pass by. Just barging through like that? Without even asking permission? Have you no manners? It is customary. Oh, no. This isn't another customs inspection, is it? Are you going to take all my stuff? I assure you, we have no interest in your stuff. Phew. That's a relief. I'm sorry if I offended you. May I pass through? No. No. 
This is an exclusive road. It's for trees only. Yes, trees only. Now, be off with you. An old hollow log. Maybe there's a frog in it or something. Rats, there's nothing in here at all. Uh-oh, I think I'm stuck. Yes, I'm definitely stuck. I wonder how Pajama Man would handle this. Fellow tree. And a good day to you as well. Oh, oh. Hot in there. Hey, that's my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox over there. My pajama Sam mask? This mask belongs to the people. It sure looks like my mask. Property is theft, man. Anyway, I need the mask to protect my identity as the leader of the Salad Liberation Front. The what? The Salad Liberation Front. We're a group of veggies fighting against the core system. We're tired of being relegated to the salad. We want to be the main course. Whatever. I just want my mask back. I'll tell you what. The other carrots are being held prisoner in the refrigerator in Darkness's kitchen. If you help me free the carrots, I'll give you back the mask. Okay, it's a deal. Great. I'll come with you to the kitchen so I can direct the operation. Okay, sure. I can't get to it through all these plants with big thorns on them. I wish I had super tough skin like Pajama Man. I guess I better put my ingenious disguise back on. Whoa! Good day, fellow tree. And a good day to you as well. Across the bridge to see what's on the other side. Don't try to butter me up. If you want to go across, you'll have to pay a toll. How much is the toll? One pound of oh. gold. There's no knob on it. Oh. Hey, that's my flashlight. My flashlight's in there.
well in the sticker bushes. The current is too strong. I can't get this up there by myself. Did you see that? That looks like fun. Um, sure. Fun. Right. Yeah, that was fun. Let's do it again. Um, how about not right away, okay? No problem. I can float now, you know. I'm Pajama Sam. I'm going to capture darkness and put him in a lunchbox. That's great. My name's Mud. Really? No, not really. Then why did you say it is? <sighs> Look, I, I'm sorry, kid. I'm just real depressed is all. See, I, I used to roll all over the place on this here track. Up, down, sideways, loop to loop. All the fun I had. But then I got rushed. Rushed? Yeah, rust. See, my wheels are rusted stiff, so I'm stuck right here on this spot. Can't move at all. Gee, that's too bad. Yeah, especially in summer when the pigeons come down here for some shade. Another sock. I better pick it up like Mom said. I should match up these socks. Looks like I need to find a total of 10 pairs of socks. How are you doing? Ah, same old, same old. Still rusted to the track. Here, I think maybe this might help your wheels. Hey, that's good. Now do the back, huh? Ooh, ooh, yeah! Yahoo! Whee! I'm king of the tracks again, thanks to you, kid. Hey, what'd you say your name was? Sam. Well, listen, Sam, the king owes you big time. Anytime you need a ride through the mines, a king will take you. Step right up, everyone's a winner. Hey King, what's this thing? Well, that's a water meter. It says 953. Don't even bother, kid. It's a one-way door. What are you going to do with that? You'll see. Okay, you be careful with it, yeah? By the way, what is it? It's a pickaxe for mining gold. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
to be careful. Yeah, but look at all this gold I got. Since you're fabulously rich, uh, how about sharing the wealth a little? Say, let me have the small piece, huh? Deal. Darkness's house, all right. These baskets must be the way up into Darkness's house. I weigh more than one stone.
According to this clock, it's 9.45. Why aren't you moving anymore? Okay, I don't see him anymore. Hi! Hello, and welcome to The Brain Tickler! The game where you get to show how smart you really are! Actually, I just wanted to go through. I think we can arrange that, can't we, Wink? That's right, Blink. But you'll have to answer a few questions first, because as you know, no one can pass through the doors of knowledge without first playing... The, the Brain Tickler! our first contestant. What's your name, son? Uh, it's Sam. He's Sam, all the way from, well, wherever it is he's from. His interests include skydiving, channeling ancient spirits, and stamp collecting. I don't collect stamps. You're making that up. And he'll be playing today for the right to pass through the doors of knowledge. He'll be asked questions from four categories. Once he's correctly answered one question from each of the categories, he wins. And we all know what that means, right, Wink? Step right over here, Sam, and select your first category. Our categories today are music, rocket science, cooking, and the land of darkness. Let's try music, please. All right, here is your question. What instrument do you play by banging on it with a stick? A drum. That's correct. That's one category down and three to go. You're doing well. Go ahead and choose another category. Let me try rocket science. All right, here is your question. How much solid fuel is required to boost a space shuttle into orbit? Around 503,181 kilograms. Yes, that's correct. Two down, two to go! All right, which of the remaining two categories would you like to try next? I'll try cooking, please. All right, here is your question. What is the name for a cooking device which uses microwaves to heat food? A microwave oven. That's correct. You're Jeez. really on the roll now! Are you ready for your final category? Um, uh, uh, I'll take the land of darkness. All right, here is your question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? 121. Good answer, good answer. Unfortunately, it's not the right answer. Oh! But don't worry, there are plenty of questions left, so you can try again. That's right. So go ahead and pick a category. Can we take a break and I'll come back later? Of course we can. Because there's always time for The Brain Tickler. We'll be back after a few short messages. Sam? The water meter says 9.53.
Welcome back to the Brain Tickler, ladies and gentlemen. As you'll recall from before the commercial break, our contestant Sam was about to select a category. Our categories today are the Land of Darkness. I'll take the Land of Darkness. All right, here is your question. What is the reading on the water meter located in the mines near Darkness's house? 953. That's absolutely right! You've done your homework. You correctly answered questions from all four categories. That makes you the new Brain Tickler Grand Champion! Congratulations, Sam! Gee, thanks! Dom Perignon, tell us what he's won! Blink, as the new Grand Champion, Sam has won the right to pass through the doors of knowledge anytime he chooses. Isn't that fantastic? You mean I could go through right now if I want to? That's right. Wow. Thank you for being here with us on The Brain Tickler. Until next time, this is Wink. And Blink. Saying good night. Wink and Blink's wardrobe was provided by the One Coat Paint Company. Yikes! The doorknob came off. I didn't do it. I barely touched it. A visitor. Well, well, well. We don't get many visitors around here. How do you do? Pretty well, thanks. How about all of you? We're fine. Thank you for asking. I'm not. In fact, I'm downright downbeat. Oh? How come? Because I ain't got nobody. <laughs> Nice view from up here. You be careful now. <laughs> well, well, well. Even nicer view from up here. Be careful now. You, you might break something. I think I need to swing higher. I got him! Did not tell you to be careful. I bet Otto would like these. Hey, another sock! The Book of Clues. If you are a clever fellow, try to push in only yellow. Whoa, that looks like a secret door. I don't see any way to open it. I think that did the trick. Well, here we are, burning. I hate being a candle. I love it. Wow! I thought 
they only had doors like this on TV. Wow, this is like a secret mad scientist lab or something. Mr. Burnt Umber in the fireplace with the number two pencil. In the store, there's no knob on it. This door knob should fit the door. Once again, Pajama Sam saves the day with his mighty brain. The door is stuck. I think the hinges are rusty. These hinges look kind of rusty. I better oil them. Did the trick. My flashlight. I can't reach it from here. Now if I can just get my mask and my lunchbox, I'll be all set. Okay, darkness, watch out! will help with the strong current in that street. Yeah. I bet they will. Thanks. Otto, do you think you could get us over by the bucket now? Yeah. <laughs> My lunchbox. Why call it that when you can't eat it? I beg your pardon? Well, it seems very silly to call it a lunchbox when you wouldn't dream of having it for lunch. But your lunch goes in it. Your lunch goes in you, does it not? Perhaps you would like me to call you lunchbox as well. I'm not a box. Ah, too true. Now, if I can just get my pajama Sam mask, I'll be ready to capture darkness.
Um, how about not right away, okay? Here you go. This should be at least a pound. All right, you're clear. Go on across. Havarti! I'm fine, how are you? No, 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 I said Havarti. Don't you know how to play cheese and crackers? Mom told me I shouldn't play with my food. No, cheese and crackers is the name of a game, see? Come on, I'll show you how to play. Hey, this is like tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-who? No, no, this is cheese and crackers. Pay attention. First, you need to choose which you're gonna be, the cheese or the crackers. The cheese, of course. Okay, I'll be the crackers. You're trying to get three of your cheeses in a row before I get three crackers in a row. You go first. Now it's my turn. Now you move. Let's see. Now you move. I won! Now can I eat the cheese? No. What did that word that you said before mean? Avarte? That's mm. what you say when you want to play cheese and crackers with someone. And then if they want to play too, they say provolone back to you. Oh, I get it. Avarte. Provolone. Try to get three in a row. I'll go first. Now can I eat the cheese? No. Hold it! If you're planning on coming back, I'll have to stamp your hand. Oh, okay. You wouldn't believe how many people try to cheat me. Thanks. Thanks for the lift, Otto! No problem. I can float now, you know. Won't you open the door since I have another victim? What? I surrender, not ever. Oh, wait. Now I see. You now have captured that troublesome carrot eater guy. I'll open up my door so you can put that rogue inside my drawer. Oh, no. Our orange leader was caught. Our fight for our freedom for not We are the Guys, don't you see he's with me and you're free to go. Free! Yes, free! Free! Uh-huh! Free! 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 I almost forgot this, but you've earned it. You have taken the tide and turned it. You may take this mask and wear it. A gift of gratitude from this carrot. Hooray, I finally have my mask. At last, I can fulfill my task. Polishing up a few affairs in Darkness's room atop the stairs. Huh? 
I just don't see why it always has to be you who reads the question. I deserve to read half of the question. It's just because I have a better... Oh, shh, shh. It's the grand champion. Good evening, Mr. Grand Champion! Hi! Oh my gosh, darkness must be right behind this door. Okay, this is it. This is the big one. All right, I'm ready. Darkness! It is I, Pajama Sam! I have come to vanquish you! Hello, Darkness? The closet! He's in the closet! Must be the key. Yes, it worked. Okay, that's that. Now I'm ready to go into Darkness's closet and capture him. Watch out, Darkness! Here comes Pajama Sam. Darkness, it is I. Pajama Sam, I've come to vanquish you. Vanquish? Is that fun? I'm gonna capture you and lock you in my signature edition all metal pajama man lunchbox. Oh dear, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Why would you want to put me in a box? So I won't have to be scared of you anymore? You're scared? I'm the one who's going to be stuck in the box. Oh dear, no one ever wants to come over and play fun games with me. You like to play games? Yes, but I never have anyone to play with. At night, when I come out, everybody's asleep. You mean you don't have any friends? Well, no. I like to play games. Really? Do you like to play cheese and crackers? Do I? I played it with a toaster in the park. It's great. Oh, good. We, we just need some, some, some crackers and, and some tasty cheese. Look at that move, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, what do you know? I defeated Darkness. Oh, I didn't see that one. You win. You're good at this, Sam. Thanks. I like this game. I better go home now, though. My mom might get worried. Okay, maybe we can play some more tomorrow night. Okay. Sam, are you all right in there? Fine, Mom. Good night. Good night, dear. <sighs> Good night, darkness. Thank you.